all you Shark Week fans out there, welcome back. It's our third summer here at Little Happy, an abandoned fishing village in the Mozambique Channel. Sharks return here each year, their home like ours. It's all about survival, folks. In this show, we didn't we didn't bring other than a couple of American cast, we didn't bring anyone. We didn't bring any production designers, DPs, everyone is South African. We knew there was great DPs here, the production staff, the ADs, production managers, line producers. You know, I mean, it's the, you know, we bought a couple actors, obviously myself, Tom, and the director, John Pogue, and that's it. And that was always the plan. South Africans always will make a plan. Everyone in the crew, so many times you have said, well, we'll make a plan, you know? So I, I do like that attitude. If you're in this business for a long time, you learn it's like there's really no no in this business. Special effects crew did um, um, Game of Thrones. You know, you can't have more effects than that. And you know, if they've sunk this village, we're gonna sink it some more, you know, as the week goes on. The cruise here is just as good as any place, if not better in many places. They have a much better attitude here too. You know, we're shooting this whole movie in 24 days, and it'd be great to have 35 days to shoot this movie. But I mean, we, it's, you know, we're on schedule, we're on budget, and uh, their attitude is fantastic. You know, I mean, they just, hard work, creative solutions, you know, to a lot of difficult, you know, situations. And you look, look at them behind me, they're going at it right now. Emma, what's wrong? A half dozen people went missing about 100 miles up the Orange River. Turns out it was bull sharks. So what do we do? And uh, you've also had a good internship program. And many of these people have risen through the ranks and learned from the bottom up, which is always the best because then you, you have an understanding of what everybody's doing and what you have an expectation of everybody. I didn't go to film school. I learned it all on the set. I we were going to tell Eddie to visit, and that was 43 years ago and stayed. From the blue cupboard onto the stairs. Once you step onto a film set, it's a totally different ball game and something that you only learn by actually being on a film set. You have to set up, then we have to be quick to start rolling everything. Speed is much more important. When you go to set, we need to prepare for everything. Action! I feel like the film industry, especially with film, um, has given me the opportunity as a, you know, a woman of color to actually grow in the industry. And um, I mean, I don't think I would have ever had this opportunity if it wasn't for film. There is a boy in the field. It's big. Shark! Brown, where are you? There he is. You are thrown against multiple personalities, you know, multiple backgrounds, you know. Which is why it's nice to have, like I said, this internship program, because you have to learn to sit at the table. You have to learn the rules of the game and how it works, when you can speak, when you shouldn't speak, you know, because some, you know, who, who is con in control and, you know, how to deal with the levels. There were people that I could go to and ask for advice. And even if I messed up, they'll like shout at me, but you know what, that's how you learn. And that's why for me, it's so important to meet someone and build a relationship with them, just so that, you know, one, so that I can learn from them, and two, so that I can build that relationship. A lot of my conversations um, and relationships were built on the fact that I was standing at the craft table and HODs are busy and they need coffee. So I would ask them and now I know what a C-stand is, what a multi-roller is, what um, flags are, you know. There's a misconception in our film schools that the minute you get out of film school, you're gonna make your, you're gonna become an HOD. And I think that misconception needs to be drilled more into film school and they need to do a bit more training to say, guys, you need more internship opportunities. You have to earn it. It's not gonna come. You have to earn it. You have to spend your time doing and learning to do this. Don't bring your position, bring yourself. Because if you just bring yourself, then you bring the person, then you learn, that's how you're gonna get onto the top. Always have respect and be keen to learn. Be keen to learn and whenever you help, people will always help you. In the industry, it, it works like it. 
no matter who you are, where you come from, if you're willing to help, people are willing to help you. Those sharks have been altered, engineered. They're not sharks. Climate change is making them highly aggressive towards everything. acknowledge that you are the new kid on the block and to own that space and um, be the best at that. Be on time, that's the most thing, like the important thing. And uh, communication, it's very important. And to ask questions, you, like if you don't know nothing, like just ask questions, then you'll find your direction. And I think most importantly is whatever you do, make sure you have fun. Because you spend your 12 hours or more here, this is basically your family and you just need to remember to have fun. Whatever you're doing, have fun. And like I said, don't forget to ask questions. You know, surround yourself with good people. And if you're gonna surround yourself with good people, listen to them, you know, hear them out and make a plan. And, and sometimes the plan has to change, but uh, it's good to go in with a plan. <laughs> it's essential. Uh, sometimes the fastest way to get somewhere is really slowly. You know, it takes time. You have to give people, you have to give yourself time. Um, don't get frustrated. Major communication, not just in your department, but the departments around you. Uh, you know, share the wealth, uh, share your knowledge, and mostly listen to people who have a greater knowledge and more knowledge than you, you know. So uh, I do, I think my best success thing, in any one thing is do a lot of listening. If you're afraid of it, go for it. So yeah, whatever makes you happy, follow, follow your dreams. That was close. Ah!